For the past 13 years, I've lived in a small town off the coast of Boston. I lived in Westboro, Massachusetts, but even as I lived there, I would visit India every year for months at a time. So India has always been a second home to me. My parents are originally from India and have lived in America for the majority of their life. They've lived in America for about 28 years, and two years ago, my parents decided that they would like to move back to India. We moved to New Delhi, and it was a really big change. And it was a really big change for me because I wasn't used to the environment. The factors that really affected me, though, were the unsafety and the pollution. I was intrigued about the fact that India was so polluted. I couldn't get a grip on why it was so polluted, and I kept on thinking, why? And this is when I really started to open my eyes and see why India was so polluted. The hazy air and the terrible air quality that's penetrating our lungs can be broken down into many different sections and causes. But the one that is most widely recognized by the Indian community and government is the automobile pollution. It's because almost everybody that is above the poverty line owns an automobile that uses fuel. And the number of cars and automobiles that use petroleum are just going to grow. Because the population is also going to grow. As the number of vehicles that go up, the amount of pollution is also going to go up. The amount of pollution exerted from a vehicle can be measured in many different ways, but the most common form of measuring this output is through PM2.5 and PM10, which stand for particular matter less than 2.5 and 10 micrometers. These are also usually the most dangerous to humans, because particular matters less than 2.5 and 10 micrometers are respirable and often go straight into the bloodstream without any filtering. May 5th, the PM10 level was at 749, more than 7 times over the safe limit, which is 100. PM2.5, safe limit is 60, whilst the level was 489. These are insane amounts of particular matter. The amount of cars in the Delhi and NCR region were above 66 million in the beginning of 2012. 66 million cars. That's more cars than there are people in Massachusetts. A gallon of gasoline produces about 19.4 pounds of CO2, and a gallon of diesel produces about 22 pounds. That's a whole lot of carbon. Even, in each, even if each car in Delhi only used a gallon's worth of gasoline, we would still have 125 million pounds of carbon. So what's the solution? Well, here's what India came up with. Get all the public transport vehicles to switch to CNG. That includes taxis, auto rickshaws, and more. CNG is compressed natural gas. Because of this, Delhi has one of the world's cleanest running bus systems. Aside from that, since Delhi and NCR switched to CNG, statistics have shown that not only has the rising trend in pollution level been lowered, but the level in various pollutants in the ambient air are also coming down. This is an overall win for Delhi and an overall win for India.